which, is as wrong. you know, is not allowed in chorus. No. Um, check, check, check. The levels. Yeah, we're good. We're already right. recording. Oh, I'm hell doing this yes. thing where I cheat a, uh, a couple of minutes out of the podcast by starting it early and then include all the, you know, sounded shit levels and shit. That oh, way yeah, I, I only have to do 40 minutes of content. And 20 yeah, minutes of bullshit. Well, that's what the the premium is for. Is people get to hear the the sound check. Going check. That's right. <laughs> check. I'm gay. That's right. This uh, is uh, this is not a premium though. Yeah. Oh, we blew off the premium this week. We tried to record it, but Stav was too fucked up on Percocet. Yeah, Nick came Zanies over here and I was Deans. fucked up, dude. Yeah, I was on an edible. I was on like three perkies, and I was just fucking. Do you still have that recording anywhere? That'd be a funny. That'd be a funny recording to um, show people. You just sound like you're mid stroke, bro. It was. Yeah, I, I don't even remember what I said. Yeah. yeah. I was so fucking... You lazy. didn't really say anything. That was the problem. <laughs> you were just moaning. I'd say, I'd say something, and you would just go, damn. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like 15 minutes of me doing, yeah. like, riffs about Wario, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> just talking about Wario for 15 minutes. We were, dude. I that's where I come alive. $30,000 a month. <laughs> <laughs> me being like, yo, what's Wario's deal? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> damn, that shit's crazy, dude. <laughs> just scratching your... Yourself in a Percocet frenzy, <laughs> do they do? Do that happen? Yeah, I, feel I mean, itchy. I used to take them. You get itchy. That's what happened. Oh, yeah, fuck, bro, dude, I was getting itchy as fuck. Yeah, I thought yeah. the infection was spreading to the rest of my body. No, it's I opiates. Knew, I knew these two oh, junkies fuck. that dated each other. This guy Brian and this girl Val. That. Yeah, and Brian one time he was like, great junkie name Val. Yeah. Val's a Val, <laughs> solid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right Val, up there with Crystal. Val Ivanov. <laughs> Russian Crystal's bitch. a great. Crystal's one. a great trash. She, girl, yeah, she. Uh, Brian one time was like, uh, dude, there's nothing better than when you're like <laughs> just getting really fucked up and, <laughs> and you just scratch each other. Yeah. Oh, it's like, oh, Jesus God. Christ. No, yeah, there's literally everything yeah. is better than <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. your bullshit fucking yeah. heroin relationship. Yeah, yeah, that's Which awful. is great because it's like the heroin is the only thing keeping you together. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People are completely in, in, in Could you imagine otherwise. Just a cold, a cold, sober morning where you're. Just fucking yeah. trying to kick hair when you wake up. You see the yeah. pockmark face you just fucked yeah. the night before. You no, just, there's no there's blood in your fucking fingernails. There's no reality in which two people who detox from heroin are also like we we just figured out we have so much in common. <laughs> right, right. Sober, right, like right, we right. thought we was just good robbing our families <laughs> yeah. together, but we love Wes Anderson. Yeah, we had yeah, no yeah. idea. Yeah. Right. I thought yeah. it was just because Val got really into settlers of Catan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. After we kicked the heroin addiction. <laughs> I did a comedy show once, and that game has some hold on people because I was doing a comedy show. And I'm like, I'm a fat guy screaming, yeah. and not one of them looked up, like from that game. Like in wow. the bay, it was some hipster bar, and like the back of it, they were playing that game, and it had like a cult like. Yeah. Oh, people they were just shit. they were in it. You know, it's funny. I was going over to Adam's house and playing it, and we were doing blow every time we played Catan, and it got me back into Catan. Yeah. And then a couple of weeks ago... Get you back into most things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 we, I, we went over there and tried to play Catan sober, and I'm like, oh, right, this game sucks. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, then I was just frustrated that I wasn't, you know... Good at Catan? Getting fucked up. Or not on Coke. Right. I was yes, I was staying with somebody in L.A., and they were, like, doing a role-playing game, and it was kind of weird. These are people that are, like, comedy writers that make, like... Hundreds, Sever of hundreds of thousands, hundreds of, of, thousands of dollars and like, hey, can you not come home tonight? And I'm like, oh yeah, what are you, some orgy? Some <laughs> yeah, LA yeah, yeah, They're yeah. like, no, we have like a roll, Call of Cthulhu role playing <laughs> yeah, game. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. like, you're like in your mid 30s. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what do you, what do you, what? Yeah. And they're like, Justin, well, we, Justin yeah. tried to offer that, the Chapo guy. He was like, yeah, yeah we thought it would be cool to do like a Call of Cthulhu uh, episode of Come Town. And I was like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> it would be funny <laughs> to like, like, he's like, we did it with Chapo and it's great. I'm like, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> it would be funny for how interesting. But you play. know they would spend so much time trying to get it together, and we would just be like, "This shit is fucking gay." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I I roll to pull my cock out and have an orc suck it. Yeah. And how many times me asking the guy that do you think it would of, take from all quit? the lame gay bullshit I've been into in my life? I'm glad that I never went down the dark paths of anime or role playing. D &D. And what was funny about the role playing yeah. game is he's like, "Listen, he's like, if you do come home, just don't like." Call it out <laughs> I'm like what He's like we're just We're really into it So like if you happen To come home Just like You know like Don't ask what it is I'm like I know what it is Like yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna Yeah 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 That's so, brutal Yeah it's interesting It's weird Man that's oh, That's tough But that's weird Because you're like This is What you're doing uh, But it uh, There's an element of it Like I I have thought like Oh maybe this shit isn't 
fucking Lame. horrible. But it is. It's yeah, like it it's is. just before they had video games. Yeah. It's like it, you create. It's basically you write a whole video game, and then you pick out some fucking characters. Yeah. And then you like roll dice. Yeah, dude. Anime, boys, instead of yeah. anime, same thing. It's yeah. like this should be. I mean, it's like this. It's art, you know. Boys, yeah, yeah, story yeah. evolved. I should be able to enjoy it on some level. We got and big then ass you watch it on anime, and you can just never get over. The fact uh-huh. that you're watching anime. Miko-san. Right. Yeah. Seki seki, my pusetu. Yeah, how much of anime <laughs> is just porn? Like, uh-huh. how much of... What Tim- percentage of people Tim- are just... Tim- <laughs> Timaru, let me yeah, see yeah. your kakaru. But it's is a boy, it's a hot ass porn? boy doing this. Oh, oh yeah. Sure. Oh, there I is. Be of course. The very best. <laughs> and sucking on a cock. <laughs> bom bom bom. To suck them is my real test. <laughs> <laughs> to fuck them is my cause. Yeah. Fill your butt with jizz. That's what I like. Anyways, welcome to Come Town. Tim. Yeah, that's the opening. Oh, thank we got you. Tim Dillon in the fucking trap. I'm yeah. back. <clears throat> really sad Adam's not here Sorry buddy Yeah sorry I so, like Adam too I'm very sad I'm so, more sad than you are That he's Sorry we're Yeah I know Sorry we're not in Adam's He's the bedroom. eye candy I know You know What about this I'm doing a nice little stretch right here uh, You're trying You're, you're working little, it yeah, I'm working I it. appreciate <laughs> that you're working it Yeah Adam's got that tone You mm-hmm. know small mm-hmm. Kind of but Compact I'm, nature I'm kind of stretching out though So I look lean You're and, selling it You know yeah. Hard <laughs> You're used car salesman <laughs> Selling it hard over there I'm just giving you a little the Peek of the underbelly out. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course Yeah yeah, yeah. You that know there's some a, good dick up Under here boy body dude There's some good dick up Under here boy yeah, that's from the that's ninth that's ward, that's Stavros yeah. Halkias is dead. Yeah. You sit outside yeah. a barbecue like that to make it more authentic. I, don't know. Just I, you, I got a good dig here, boy. I got Just, like, ooh, I'm gonna get those burn ends. <laughs> Just some cop is like, we gotta go uh, tell that Cajun guy who keeps uh, advertising his dick to shut his mouth. We got one of the parades today. This could be a real issue. <laughs> now, I ain't heard nobody. I'm yeah, just yeah. out here slinging dick, boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How, how are they going to know if I don't tell them? I get yeah. you a little taste for free, officer. <laughs> he, keep, he keeps taking his tooth out and, and tonguing it at the girl. <laughs> oh, that's oh. a great move, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the first amendment. Oh, man, you are just trash. Bro, dude. my body's fucked. You I'm look, dying. Yeah, man, you are fucking garbage now. I know, point. dude. My, I mean, what What's else? What's great could about me and Stav, though, is we have the bodies that we fit in anywhere in America. Exactly. Immediately. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. No matter what class. I, I really can't leave Brooklyn. You now. really it's can't. Like, no, no, you look, You're yeah. a suspect. Me yeah, and Stav, yeah, yeah. you put us in the middle of a Walmart in Kentucky. Beautiful. We're good. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. We're part of the community. 100%, dude. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice. That's the thing of like my whole life, my body just completely, completely disintegrating is like fitting because <laughs> I've, this is what I've been preparing for. You know, right? It's like I've never gotten an advantage because of my body, right? Or how good I look. No, I, I'm gonna be just a fucking fat head on like a tank in one of those Futurama tanks. I'm preparing for that. What sucked is I was a hot kid and mm. I was like an actor and I remembered what being a hot kid felt like. And oh, then, fuck. then around 11, you start getting fat and you're yes. like, oh, I'll never get back to that no. ever. No, man. It's you're like toast. a rough because you can't take advantage of it when you're a fucking kid. You're not fucking you're no. not. You're just sitting in an audition with well, three other kids as a child actor. You were right. If that's true. Any, if there's any, if my parents were smarter, <laughs> yeah, they would have yeah, fucking yeah, picked yeah. me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but yeah, when you're, cause you see, there are people that are good looking as kids, For sure. and then pre puberty, they hit eleven or twelve, it starts to go down. Yeah, I wasn't attractive until I was like twenty three. That's better. I was, yeah. yeah, for sure. I was actually probably, I was a pretty cute kid, but I had a yeah. lot of self esteem. And then when I started getting fat and normal. Right. I was like, oh, this sucks. No Sometimes one treats you look me the baby. way I think I deserve to be treated. Yeah, being yeah. fat as shit in, in in ages like. I don't know, maybe 10 to 14 should be mandatory mm-hmm. for, I think, anybody that wants to pursue any kind of creative. Yeah, it makes you, yeah. it makes you probably a better person. You have, you're more, you have humble, you, you, you know, you're, 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 em- you have empathy. Uh, I don't know. It, it made me, yeah, no, it, it turned me <laughs> into a monster. Yeah. It turned you, oh, yeah. I just, I don't like Nick was keeping I, score. It turned me into like a fucking cynical. The know. world still yeah. owes him from that. Yeah. 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 There's something about being fat and knowing why you're fat. Like I was fat, but then eating. And there's something about being fat and not feeling like just being oh, like, not oh. knowing yet. No, but being fat and being like, oh, yeah, I'm the problem. Oh, like I yeah. just I lo- I fucking eat. See, I like remember those pig. beautiful. I'm with you now for sure. But I remember yeah. those beautiful days when, when you I didn't was, know. I didn't put it together. Yeah, <laughs> I was like hmm, maybe dousing this 
grilled cheese and extra butter. Right. And I was maybe like, going downstairs and melting another thing of butter in the microwave and dipping my grilled doesn't cheese. Doesn't everyone get twisty, <laughs> twisty bread from Domino's and dunk it in the industrial <laughs> yeah. oil in the box? Doesn't everyone right, right, do that? Course, yeah. Why would right. why would people not do that? Those beautiful days when you don't know that's the issue. That was the best awesome. fat because you didn't oh. know. You're like, oh, freewheeling. You're like, I'll just grow out of this. Yeah. Eventually. I'm spoon. Yeah. I called it baby fat until I was 17. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta shed my baby fat. <laughs> yeah, I'll just be able to handle this General Tao's chicken. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's also—I mean—it's hard to make smart food choices. Yeah, you know, it's like you just don't know shit. You know, yeah. it's tough. Yeah, my dad. My you dad. You always think like, oh, I'll have one salad and I'll just like. I'll go. I'll go run nine miles today. Right, right, right. And make myself hate running so much with all of this exercise I did in one day that I just never. I do never exercise again. Exercise again, yeah. Oh, exercising sucks. That's there's always a like panic that when you order food, you, there won't be enough. If you're a fat person, there's yes. always a panic. Yes. If you're on Grubhub or Seek. Seamless, you're like, if you're fucking, if you, yeah. if you, if you I yes. still have that. Let's get the appetizer. Yeah, Let's get the only, appetizer. Only, the appetizer. Why not? Just to be safe. Yeah. 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 I only <laughs> just this year started not finishing everything. Everything on my plate Right Because it's like You know Like well this costs money I spent the money on it I gotta yeah. eat all this Fucking food Yeah you know? It's like there's no way I can't eat. The garnish is being eaten As well <laughs> yeah, yeah, Right yeah, Right yeah, Right yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I'm napkin, eating this plastic taking, flour <laughs> From being, yeah, yeah. The silverware is coming home With me Yeah 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 the Salt and pepper <laughs> shake <laughs> I'm, I'm melting it down I've, Yeah I've, I've I've zipped up The tablecloth <laughs> In yeah. my zipper <laughs> So as I catch a packet In my pockets They're just bursting Um no, I know that feeling. I still feel that. That's how I feel about sex, also. Yeah. Because it's like you got to eat all the pussy. You got to eat all the pussy. There's some good pussy yeah. out there, boy. Hey, boy, I got some good pussy <laughs> up on his stomach, boy. <laughs> There's a fat woman sitting next to me doing the yeah. same thing. Pierre, yeah. Pierre, stop, <laughs> stop threatening those women. Yeah. Pierre, stop pulling your tooth out and threatening those women with pussy eating. Hey, I ain't nothing wrong with this. Oh, just let me go in Pierre there. Pierre Saint Pierre. <laughs> Pierre Saint Pierre. I uh, have plenty of good pussy out here, boy. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Uh, hey, ladies, you want some bar pussy? Yeah. Ain't nothing like a crown dad. I'm not, just, allowed, I'm not allowed in Shreveport anymore of all that pussy I don't need now to Katrina. They're trying to, like, reason I'm with you? Know. All those women need a place to live. I brought them in my shack. I ate all that pussy right up. They're like, Pierre, don't you care about tourism? Don't you understand how this makes us look? Yeah. Pierre, just at least my, don't do it outside of this cigar shop. Uh, my pappy had this cigar shop. He was slinging dick out here for a generation, bar. I tell you, ain't moving me just because a stone came. <laughs> <laughs> uh, plenty of dick out here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> plenty of dick out here for everybody, Sarge. Oh, man. Oh. Pierre St. Pierre is a great guy. I love Pierre St. Pierre. He's amazing. This is what SNL would be if yeah. they knew what they were doing. Yeah, yeah. If they would fucking hire us. Uh, like, oh, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, Lord. So it's a, it's a pussy-eating Cajun that's ruining the tourism yeah. industry of yeah. post-Katrina yeah. New Orleans. Get this. Pierre St. Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> Just Lauren going, time. no. Oh, well, you gonna come, come on down here. I'm going to play that pussy like a trumpet. I'm going to have a dirge all the way up your asshole to your pussy crack. I'm going to march the whole funeral from the tip of your ass crack to the top of that pussy. <laughs> David uh, Simon, do you have any interest in writing this? Uh, Treme too, baby. Sorry, Pierre St. Pierre. <laughs> I never knew what Treme was about I couldn't get into it It was just It should just be called Not the wire Right It's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just The yeah. wire with trumpets Instead of guns Right it's Right just, Right Yeah No it, thanks I didn't get it no, Too many I, parades No it's got There's got to be Drug dealing involved Molly Klein be, was going off On the wire The other cool day Cool lesbians about what? Who about is she? How, I just, how, I like just... how fucking people dislike or like it, or like white people like is it. She a comedian or writer? Or... No, she's an insane person. Think that dresses piece like a... writer. Great. Yeah. No, not even a think uh, piece oh. writer. Just someone that sits on Twitter and like does. <laughs> oh really? Does yeah. Like doesn't even make it to the piece. Media criticism. Oh, oh okay. is that Red yeah, Kahuna? She's, yeah, or whatever the fuck? yeah. It's, she's insane. She has like schizophrenia. Or yeah, I would imagine it's yeah. probably not she, great. She, she hates Amber. I like her because she goes to insult people and she's like, 
She's like, you know, one of those nerds you'd make fun of as a kid. Yeah. And then they'd finally lose their temper and they'd be like, you'd be like, oh, yeah, well, you're this. And the thing they said was like, the, so pathetic. The, <laughs> <laughs> the worst yeah. thing ever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah what did you say to Amber? She called her Amber Ass Ass Frost. Yeah. That's oh, like, yeah. Amber. <laughs> oh, God. Like, what'd you say something like that? I was like, oh, you should be beaten. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you should be allowed to be clubbed <laughs> yeah, repeatedly. Yeah. Nah, she's going off on the wire saying that it's like, uh, the, uh, the uh, white people like the show because there's not a single 12 year old black kid on the show that isn't shown as a gun toting uh, drug dealer. What? Yeah. Which that is, is like, completely false. Uh, yeah, first of all, are there? <laughs> it's not a, you, first of all, you didn't watch the wire. <laughs> right, 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 yeah, right, what, right, what show right. are you watching? Right. Yeah. That's the whole, those are the people you feel. The only sympathy for yeah, it. Right. <laughs> it's just like you get, yeah. you realize how hopeless their situation right. it's is. It's a show about how the police are bad and how the people like running drugs are kind of normal. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's a, well, it's a show about how how the problem is the scope of the problem is so huge and that it's really every element of society. It's kind of like and my all, penis, right? <laughs> and all of these different interests. It is like Pierre Saint Pierre <laughs> yeah, in yeah. a sense. There's so many different interlocking mm -hmm. systems well, of yeah. oppression. Boy, them, them, them young, young black boy <laughs> right. ain't had no chance, man. Since right. racism, Season boy. two of Treme is about the tourism industry in, in New Orleans yeah. and how it's incredibly hamstrung by the Cajun pigs, Pierre Saint Pierre, the pussy eating pig. <laughs> the Gold Coast. Yeah, when you when you watch The Wire, you you you, you boy, go like, you're like go that go that nigga on him. <laughs> you're like we're fucked. You know, you watch The Wire, you're like, oh, there's no easy fix to oh, yeah, yeah. anything. Which yeah. is, a, you know, you're like, this is a fucked system. Mm -hmm. But then every once in a while, a couple kids no, who are gangbangers yeah. get out of I it. I mean, you know? the, the the answer is young people paying lip service to leftist politics and accruing their own wealth and forgetting about it when they turn 35. <laughs> I, th I think that <laughs> makes sense. And becoming liberals and, you know, moving out of Brooklyn, getting a house in the suburbs. Yeah. That's right. You forget mm -hmm. all about the podcast. I think a good, <laughs> a good improv How strategy. How many people are going to be so ashamed of themselves that they used to listen to us? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like they'll take it out every now and then like you know how like like suburban yuppies will take out like a joint sometime <laughs> yeah, yeah. they're gonna bring out an episode of come town they're yeah, gonna be like yeah. listen to this one yeah. and it's just nick doing Goop. some crazy asian <laughs> yeah, accent yeah, yeah. you know it's just like five yuppies in the suburbs like all right come on yeah, let's yeah, go yeah, 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 yeah. what do you got we got come town oh wow yeah. can you imagine what a fucking train wreck i'm gonna be at that point oh that would be amazing it's gonna Hilarious. be amazing all, just covered in plastic surgery yeah even Look, like sandy kenyon <laughs> with like a sandy with the, with the Rachel haircut. <laughs> <laughs> that would be 90 pounds. So awesome. I just gotta lose five more pounds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna stay young forever. You keep going to the hospital, they're like, there's nothing wrong with you. You're like, I need another operation. <laughs> Make my elbows jacked. Yeah. My elbows aren't there's not enough definition in my yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. bows. God damn, I can I am not looking forward to anything happening after this moment right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nothing good's coming. Yeah. Nothing yeah. good's I coming. No, dude, no this way. sucks. There's no, there's yeah. nothing good coming, yeah. bro. I'm For anyone, yeah. I, know. I don't get the, I don't get the vibe that anyone we know is is going to a good place. Yeah, of course not. Even yeah. sick, wildly successful people, mm. I'm just like, oh, it's gonna end bad. It's mm -hmm. just what kind of bad, right? Uh, just for being, if you were a positive influence in my life, yeah, nothing good will come of it. There's ten good sober comedians I know right now where I work out what the relapse is going to be <laughs> in my head. I'm like, what will it be? How will it happen? Will they get more right. than one or will they just OD in a right, fucking red right, roof right. in? Oof. How does it work? Oh, yeah, it's going to be bad. Yeah. Yeah, because that's the thing. Is like I've been pretty good at staying sober, but it's also like things have just been getting progressively better for me yeah. over the last five years. Mm -hmm. And it's like if I, was, if I had spent the last five years walking dogs in Brooklyn... Yeah, There's absolutely no way I wouldn't have started drinking again. Uh, well, yeah, I've been hanging out with Jake Flores every day yep. and like getting drunk and playing fucking board. Drinking games. is tough, man, because it's like everywhere. It's all over the place. And you just it feels still so much like the right move. Absolutely. In in our society. Just like, grab a drink. Quick drink. Doing a line of blow is still like, well, maybe I should. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is yeah. a little. Right, right, right. You but feel like an asshole. You take a fucking drink. You're like, yeah, this is this is great. It's yeah. what I should be doing. And there's something beautiful about a night. That's why, it's so, that's why it's so. That's why it's so easy. The next to, day, it's a beautiful. Yeah. I love that. Oh, that's why it's so easy to fall off the wagon. Oh yeah, it's because it's like you have that first drink, you get a little bit of a buzz, and you're like, 
Oh, yeah, this is what being a human being feels like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is how I should feel all the time. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, how I feel about food. Yeah. That's how I feel about that. There's a feeling you get food. when you eat that's like, I don't know what it is, but it's just this feeling of like, all right, I'm going to make it. My heart. I'm going to I'm gonna survive. I feel like my heart's getting a boner when that's happening. Yeah. And in some ways, it's hardening. Yeah. It is. In some ways, the cholesterol is. There's something taking. going on there where you're the best, like. The best comedy writing I ever did was while I was hungover. Mm, Second best comedy writing I ever did while I was drunk as shit and, you know, also high. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I <laughs> no. bet you some of the no, no, third best it's, is after a murder, I <laughs> hit someone with my car. Yeah. I watched them die. Uh, I went right yep. to the writer's room. Six <laughs> sketches, all amazing. Yeah. That's where I came up with Pierre yeah. St. Pierre. <laughs> yeah. Because I raped a five year old. During Katrina, I said, what if there is a character <laughs> who had a dick that he would offer from <laughs> underneath his gun? <laughs> And they were like, oh, yeah. Oh, Pierre St. Pierre. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. I need to do a Pierre St. Pierre photo series immediately, dude. That's amazing. Some overalls. You look, yeah. I'm picturing Pierre St. Pierre. It is it's you. Me. It's me. His teeth yeah, yeah. is gone. No tooth. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing Overall. needs to be added to it. <laughs> yeah, you're not even really a change of venue. This is yeah. as close to New Orleans as you need to be. <laughs> they can make the yeah. effect of Just maybe a king cake next yeah, to you. Yeah, 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 like yeah, one yeah. of those tri Color cakes, right? Some some crawdad shells. Oh yeah, that you've sucked dry. Yep. New Orleans oh, yeah. got some of the best and worst food in the world. You yeah. know, it's like something you eat will be amazing, and then they're like, "We got spider." It's like, yeah. wait a minute, yeah. what? Yeah, 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 so yeah, what yeah. am I eating? This deep yeah. fried gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wait a minute, this, is, this can't be. You know, we got bread pudding, rock got pudding, yeah. possum tail gumbo, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, real just like a big old spaghetti. Yeah. Those menus are real confusing. You order yeah. the wrong thing. Can I get the peach cobbler? And yeah. the uh, the turd. <laughs> <laughs> That's a turd. Yeah. It's a toy. It's a toy. It's a toy. Also, it's not shit. Not nah, human shit. No, it's a, yeah, it's a big old. <laughs> that came straight off a tugboat. Man, yeah. all the tugboat boys out there, they take a big old dump on the deck. <laughs> and they come in, they put it back on the table, and we heat it up a little bit. <laughs> We've been serving it for about 90 years. <laughs> Everywhere has been in business 95 years. Yeah, yeah. You go to every place. You like be, 95 you, years. You yeah. Black people weren't allowed to look at the turd. <laughs> black man came in here looking at yeah. the turd. Oh, they put his ass in jail. Yeah. <laughs> this is over by my mammoth. was a witch. She was a real witch. We hung her yeah. right in the courtyard. Yeah, I've been here 116 years. They, 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 they let you high yellow boys come in here and look at the turd if they was if they was good at piano enough. But I mean, you, you better be pretty damn good at that piano come in here and look at the turd. Talking about eating the turd, boy. You better look like a banana. They do a travel video. It is your you travel be video. So light skinned. Yeah. <laughs> I'm better. about to peel you and suck you off. <laughs> Matter of fact, we did suck off coming them, boy. <laughs> it's always funny when you see like a travel video of just like a hot blonde chick get kind of uncomfortable in one of these like like New Orleans, like real like swamp oh, type yeah. of situations. Yeah. It's always yeah. the same chick who's like really thin, hot. Like it's so exciting to be here. Yeah, and then it's yeah, like yeah. a chef who's just standing a little too close. Oh, and yeah. Oh, yeah. Sneer at her. The mm -hmm. moment the cameras are off, she's in danger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. yeah a guy with like a bunch of scars all over his yeah. face and Popeye tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> he learned everything at Angola, <laughs> you know? Oh, uh, fuck. Great city, though. Angola. I love New Orleans, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, Angola. Angola. Beautiful. It's a good place to be. Yeah. Uh, guys, don't worry. I have plenty of topics for us to discuss. For example, I was watching an old episode of Family Feud. Uh huh. Uh, and How old are we talking? Very old. Richard Dawson. Whoa, what is that? What year is that? That's like late 70s. Gotcha. This motherfucker is straight up <laughs> Vietnam kissing. feud. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What did we not have any hand in? <laughs> the Gulf right. of Tonkin <laughs> Bay. <laughs> uh... This motherfucker's just straight up kissing women on the mouth, dude. Yeah. Like that's in the front, way it was. In front of their husbands. Yeah. And like this fucking their this husbands dad loved it. has got to watch some fucking old alcoholic mm -hmm. literally feel these bitches up and kiss like tongue mouth kisses. Yeah. That shit is wild, dude. That's that's so that's my take on Family Feud. Yeah. 
So what do you guys think about that kind of situation? Well, Steve Harvey. Does I, yeah, that. I was Im- instantly imagining <laughs> Steve Harvey doing that and what the, yeah. Well, they they have also had some hilarious guests in the past. Yeah. They had Louis Anderson. That's actually Pierre St. Pierre got his, <laughs> Remember Louis got Anderson? his start on, on Steve Harvey's big break. <laughs> Louis Anderson had like a sex scandal that just went away. Yeah, well, it was yeah, like one of those things. Guy? No, some guy was like, Hey, would just keep grabbing my dick. Everyone's like, Will you shut up? <laughs> yeah. It's Louis Anderson. Let him grab your dick. Hey, yeah. can I suck your cock? <laughs> well, people people know, knew that about yeah. him. And he yeah. had to keep his like, gay identity under wraps because he worked with children back in the 90s. Mm-hmm. And that's that terrible we all know. animated series, Life with Louie. That show, I used, yeah. to, that I used to like sucked. it, but I was a little kid. Is that I different than too, Bobby's he's world? He's one of those fat men you're supposed to like as a funny child. Right. Mm, true. You know? As a fat child. It was, was Pinky in the Brain. It was, like, that was like a strong lineup Pinky they the Brain had. was good. It was great. Uh, no, because Life with Louie wasn't on WB. Was no, it? but it was on. I'm sorry, Fox, it was a, Fox Box. It was a Fox or ABC? I think it was Fox Box. Okay, but it was Saturday mornings. Yeah, it was, well, yeah. It was Fox's cartoon programming because I remember I didn't have access to it. I wouldn't see it very mm-hmm. often. It was, um, it was like uh, I think Eek the Cat, Life with Louie. Eek the Cat. Damn. That was a sh- that was a big one. I don't remember that. Maybe uh, I was done then cops. <laughs> then it led, yeah, yeah, yeah. led right into cops <laughs> for the kids. Yeah. Um, I. Well, that's different than Bobby's world. WB led to Hercules and Xena. Yeah, you're right. Mm. Hercules whatever. and Xena. Yes, Hercules yes. and Xena. I used to watch that. That was that. The, that was that the was Saturday, Saturday afternoon check. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Xena was such a good show. Hercules <laughs> sucked compared to Xena. I mean, just because Xena had them titties on deck. Oh, yeah. Well, Gabriella was Ooh. so hot, dude. Was she a lesbian? Um, One of them was a lesbian. Xena yeah. was. Lucy Lawless feels like a lesbian. She's not, though. She's okay. Not. But she and then feels... don't you see her tits in. Uh... She feels like she could beat Kevin Sorbo in like a domestic. Oh, back know? then for sure. Back then, oh. like there's a domestic. Yeah. You go to the house. Kevin, Kevin Sorbo's a lesbian. <laughs> Kevin Sorbo, yeah, he's got the haircut. <laughs> Did you see that movie that came out two years ago with him? They had those two Christian Bro, movies. That I came love out? how he's rebranded. <laughs> he's yeah, like, yeah. No, dude, nothing's funnier than that, when somebody goes hard yeah. right yeah. Yeah. into Christianity. He went, he, went, he went Greek mythology, now doing Christian mythology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's like it was really all Jesus Zeus everything led to Jesus he's playing a different fictional character that never existed (laughs) never had any of those powers (laughs) that's so funny though in Greek school that's literally what they tried to do yeah because they would teach us about Greek mythology and then they were like look at this they they were right they they talked about Jesus coming they're like oh there's gonna be they just made something what's the same thing it's like a three headed dog that you read the bible you're like oh this is kind of this is so many of the myths the virgin birth is like yeah whatever but like they literally tried to tell us and actually the 12 gods were like a new god's coming that's gonna be <laughs> even more powerful a new god's coming and then, and then they just wanted to like seem like and we were like yeah i love cool. how they say like a gay guy announces a starbucks is <laughs> yeah, coming yeah, yeah, a yeah. new god's <laughs> coming <laughs> next week oh he has some fresh meat boy yeah Ooh, he, got some, he got some good dick up under yeah. that loincloth <laughs> we got bad news pierre st pierre found a new starbucks <laughs> Hey boys, how y'all doing out there? Pierre, these Yelp reviews, I'm gonna read them to you. I'm gonna read them to you right now. Shut up, boy. You know I can't read. I got no, I'm cream. gonna read them to you. He's like, yeah, I'm that bad at reading. Yeah. This man <laughs> spit at my daughter. Do you see that, Pierre? <laughs> he made oinking noises uh-huh. and while jerking off. Uh-huh. Oh, don't stop now, girl. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The air around him was viscous. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a vapor. It's, yeah. you, it's humid out here, boy. It's pH. <laughs> yeah. I got thrown. Yeah, it's like somebody put <laughs> pee like on you oil walked into a fryer, a, like a fry, <laughs> the, the deep fryer in a bowling alley. That's what yeah. it's like around St. Pierre, St. Pierre at all times. Just smells like canola oil yeah, in right. the air. He's the real yellow king from True <laughs> Detective. It's like he you evaded capture. A NASCAR him, pit stop if the cars ran on bacon fat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh God. Oh man. Not that good dick boy. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, Kevin Sorbo. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love his rebrand, man. It fucking rules. He has there's nowhere way. to go. There's nowhere to go. That's the other thing. When you get to that point, you kinda have to what are you gonna do? Well Xena, to her credit, she she was in uh um Fuck wedding crashes. She was like the hot milfy mom and Yeah, but you get that check, you're like you know, Sorbo's like, you get in that Christian freak arena. Those people you're probably will right. pay you. You. you probably make more money than being kind of like a, being like do, doing a fucking self aware right like uh, cameo, cameo in a lot of stuff. No, right, you got to right. be like you're right. Hey, that no. doesn't pay. We're doing another Christmas Carol where <laughs> Kevin Sorbo plays. I would Scrooge. love to have Kevin Sorbo on the show, man. 
Yeah, that's I'm, a dream. By looking. the way, I'm sure it's attainable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're acting like it's not attainable. Yo, can yeah. we debate Sorbo? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's literally <laughs> an email and a Southwest flight away. <laughs> Bro, whatever the cost is, if you know Kevin Sorbo, I will do whatever it takes to get him on the show. <laughs> just, yeah, just tell him it's a Christian podcast. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just tell him, be like, we for Christian United Ministries. <laughs> <laughs> town. Yeah. Town. Yeah. There's a town of them, sir. <laughs> <laughs> They're all together. <clears throat> Together. Um yeah, dude. Salute to Sorbo. I mean that the 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 fucking like production value on those shows was basically pornography. It was basically soft core porn. Yeah. <laughs> it was always uh, and they always had like a Every scene was the same. It would be like a bunch of peasants with jugs <laughs> yeah, who would yeah. get knocked over, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, there'd yeah, just yeah. be a fight. And Lawless's yeah. tits were like yes, hanging out, yes, yeah, yeah. and it was like that was every scene. Literally, Jocks every scene would show up, try to fuck. Yes, every yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was that? Wasn't he a famous guy? Yeah, it's uh, Sam Raimi's brother. Oh, okay. oh. I'm pretty sure. Wasn't was, was the less successful? Raimi. Yeah. Did I just? Who's the guy from Evil Dead? Sam Raimi. No, right Bruce now. Uh, Campbell. Uh, Bruce Campbell. Was he ever in Xena? I feel he, like he was. No, he was on a show called Jack of All Trades. It was part of that programming block. I swore. I'm sure he. <laughs> I'm like, sure, this I'm knowledge sure he, is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure he guest starred on. There was Zeno some. Once or yes, twice. yes. I mean, yeah, they, they did a lot of Jack of All Trades. Trade. A lot yeah. of cross promotion. They really did. Oh, and they did. Honestly, yeah. I loved it. Oh, it was I great. I could not get enough. Dude, it was great. And then wrestling, promo. like wrestling, mm -hmm. was also part Smackdown. of that. Yeah, yeah. That was my only exposure. I remember everyone liked wrestling. I didn't have cable growing up, so like. I would yeah, have to Smackdown. pretend to know yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on. You Dude, Smackdown, that was so though? many conversations you had as a kid, just pretending yes, to know yes, yeah, yeah. what everyone else saw. Uh, I yeah. pretended. No I idea what AOL and right. Messenger is. I didn't know. I, I had never seen South Park until I was like... 22 years old. Right, but you had to be like, yeah. But I was like, you know, nine Dude, years old. I didn't old, have like, the cable. I had no Nickelodeon. That yeah, was fucking yeah, yeah. brutal. Everybody yeah. was talking about Nickelodeon. Yeah, every boat. fucking thing. My yeah. go to would always be like, can you believe they killed Kenny again? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that was what I had to fucking talk about. I knew. I was, I was like, let's jerk each other off. You I, yeah, I remember not yeah, talk yeah. about <laughs> fucking cartoons. I remember like, when, uh, yeah, when South Park came out, I didn't know it was a cartoon. Mm. And people would talk about it, and I had just zero context for yes. what this show is right. or, yeah, or yeah, what's yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. idea. I just, you like, bastards! Can we, can we talk about The Simpsons? Yeah, oh yeah, I had The Simpsons Watch locked and loaded. The Simpsons. No one wanted to, though. The, the xerokefali, that's what Pete's dad used to call them, <clears throat> which meant the knuckleheads. The knuckleheads. Or I guess, I guess typically the translation was, or more accurately, the dry heads. Cetera. Interesting. Dry head was a real. Uh, it meant you're dumb. Why didn't he uh, just call them the Simpsons? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was the need for the? Because he's a fucking Greek encrypted, <laughs> Greek reference. fucking villager. He hated him. Yeah. Yeah. He only watched Xena to see his hero. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was the one who <laughs> saved his village. Bro, this guy hated. He was. Here's how how much of a backwoods villager he was. I think I talked about this on the show. So Eldis, my roommate, you haven't met. I don't know if you met him, Tim. No. He's Albanian, and to to a certain subset of dumb Greek villagers, yeah. Albanians are like to be spit upon. Okay, you know what I mean? They're like treated the way like Turks are. Yeah, no, because they're like because they're lower than us. Gotcha. Turks, we hate because the because of the yeah, this, Ottoman Empire, right? They they, 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 they cuffed us. Gotcha. But Albanians are like. Like you how like You're rat people. people. Yes, yeah, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, uh, undocumented workers and shit like that. Right, they would sure. treat them like second class citizens. It's how in Long Island we view uh, women, uh, yeah, minorities, yes, exactly, exactly. Uh, people that don't own homes, right. people that don't have SUVs. <laughs> yeah, even. Yes, yeah. exactly. Right. This guy made Eldis. Our, we've grown up together. We've been friends since preschool. Me, my it is my friend Pete, and my friend Eldis, and. Pete's dad, the, the villager, he made Eldis wait outside. He wouldn't let him in his home. <laughs> so he wouldn't let an Albanian child in his home. That's and we so had to great. play outside in the yard. <laughs> but I was inside watching Eldis. <laughs> Dude, but that's what I respect about in. Greek people. They commit hard. Oh, yeah. Hard. Yes. Like, you could, they, yes. I don't think there's any deathbed that's so retractions, funny. He wouldn't right? let Albanian in his home. Yeah, that's good for him. him. The, but then Eldest was <laughs> like, for him. keep being friends with this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like, this guy's different. He's going to change the whole thing. I mean, obviously, we were sad about it. We were like, dude, sorry. Like, you can come to my house. <laughs> like, my brain's very progressive. It's always interesting, those <laughs> friendships that are formed, like, in, in to, like, I, I used to work in Long Island with this guy who was, like, this disgusting racist, and he would, like, say to me, he'd be like, he was this guy who talked like this, Italian oh, guy. Yeah, he'd yeah. go, my daughter comes to the house with a couple of black kids. My <laughs> wife looks at me, I'm like... 
what are we going to fucking do? I'm just horrified. I'm like, what do you mean? What are you going to do? I'm like, I'm like genu- by the way, 2007, like he said, I was hor- horrified in the office. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I thought I didn't hear part of the story. I'm like, oh, was it, was it a rape? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, what are you yeah, going to do? Yeah, He's yeah. like, what are we going to do? Yeah. And I said to my wife, and my wife sat my daughters down. And she was like, if you ever do that again, oh we throw you out in the street. God. I'm like, oh, so you'd make your kids homeless <laughs> if they bring home black like I'm like what is this yeah good but this yeah, is a guy you know, this is a guy in fairness who went the homeless show <laughs> right yeah. when my boss walked in one day with a yellow tie this guy looked at my boss and went you look like a piece of mustard <laughs> so he also could have been slightly retarded right. you know Which what I mean like was. a piece yeah. of mustard yeah. A piece, yeah, yeah. you look like a piece of mustard I got some mustard on the on the stomach boy on top of my cock got no mustard <laughs> Pierre's causing issues outside of the convention center we got a big weekend we can't can't handle Something this shit like a crawl there, baby. <laughs> um, yeah, that guy could. I mean, that's the other thing. Being stupid as shit and white. Yeah. I mean, so many of the most racist people are just like probably retarded people. And, and not only just that, like because they've been able, so and, they've, and especially in Long something. Island, they've been they have jobs. Like they have right. money. Like their ignorance has been rewarded. Right, right, right. With they've been able to like do okay. Right. So they're like, why challenge this mindset mm-hmm. that, you know, but it's like when you, when you like meet somebody who's like that cartoonishly racist, you're almost, you want to, your first instinct's to laugh. Right. You're like, this is a joke, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what are we going to do? Gonna do? They were black kids <laughs> in the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Do you, what? I'm like, wait a minute. What do you, like when I grew, grew up, I had black friends in Spanish. Oh, yeah, I'm like, what, yeah. do, what do you mean? Like, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah. What, it was bad, man. What are we going to do is the best. What are we going to do? This emergency you fucking yeah. lost on our home. And he's home. like, my wife sat it down. And he, she told him, you'll be out of this house <laughs> if you do this again. I'm like, do this again? Bring kids to the driveway? It's this weird. is I crazy. Can't, I can't recall ever meeting somebody that's just... Because it's, it's always been couched with like I'm not racist. I just right. think the oh, races are separate, Greek separate, people. and they should be genocided. You know, it's, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, yeah, always, yeah. it's never, it's never yeah, like yeah, yeah. They're, they're worse than us. Yeah, you know? right, right, right. It's like it's worse than us. I don't. I'm not apologizing for it. I, like, yeah. I don't. Like, other than online, I guess. They, right. Well, Greek people. Like I think I've already talked about this fucking piece of shit. What the hell is that? Was it a restaurant? Just a fucking No, it was a stroke Piece of shit guy <laughs> yeah. I mean, just a horrible racist That's the Greek racist. Pierre St. Pierre Yeah, 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 yeah. One for every well, Harambe, Harambe Babopoulos <laughs> yeah. I think I've already talked about him Constantine but His biggest One of the biggest quotes I remember this guy saying And it was like What was he? A speaker? Greek. Right? Yeah, this just Greek, Greek guy? This Greek guy He was my friend's Oh, okay My friend's dad I thought he had a platform No, 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 no <laughs> He's a guy. fucking plumber Okay He's a fucking <laughs> shitty He's a He's a failing plumber. Yeah, in Greek he runs town. Athens Plumbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I talked. I told this story where at this kid George's birthday, uh, his dad was like, g- like giving advice, and he was like, "Listen to me, boys. The two worst things a man can be is a gambler." And they faggot. What's the point where he's wrong? Excuse me. <laughs> Hold on, Stavros. Where does he stop making sense? Because I got to be honest, uh, I've gambled and sucked some dick, yeah. and there's got to be a better road. Yeah. You know? Well, this is the kind of guy he loved basketball, and his sons were horrible at basketball, and it was yeah. like, how did, can you even claim? That black that black people are inferior when you watch basketball. It's like well, yeah, these people aren't big fucking, on logic. Yeah, I know, but it's like you know? he was just such a piece of shit, and yeah. one of the most racist. People well, I've ever yeah. met to be life. fair, I mean, at least he puts them above faggots and gamblers. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> yeah, yeah. He does have a hierarchy. <laughs> I mean, you may, you're the making this guy out to sound pretty bad. I love that. By the way, that's because you know somehow he got fucked over gambling and someone like <laughs> grabbed his dick. Yeah. It's so weird, those two yeah. groups of people. You know, he's like, there are two things in life you should never be. Yeah. A faggot <laughs> and a short torture cook. Yeah. Be a chef. Don't work yeah, at the yeah. diner. It's like, wait a minute. What are you? What personal that thing? That they cannot talk down to you. <laughs> the chef. They say, Bobby. Where are my eggs? Fuck you. <laughs> That's where you're at. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, dude, he was a fucking just a piece of dog shit. Uh, but these it's these fucking horrible immigrants. That, like nothing goes well for them. Yeah, they come to a new country. It's bad. Yeah. Uh, so all they take it out on is their fucking wives. And right. Just say you know mm-hmm. as it should be. Race. Right. It, just say Mexican. <laughs> Why you problem. get married? That yeah. and the tax benefit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, if you make enough money, you don't have to get married. They just they'll, they'll keep making new PlayStations. That's yeah, true. That's true. <laughs> you don't need a wife. I want to. Yeah, I wonder if I want a wife, dude. I want to settle down. You know, you want a lady. No, I mean, do you I, see yourself as a suburban dude? Like, because I, I see myself. You see yourself as a suburban guy? I eventually getting out of the city. Not anytime soon, but like eventually yeah. I kind of want the I idea of like that Bobby life, just kind of being 40 minutes away. That's kind of mm-hmm. nice. I just, I pray that I will have the courage to kill myself at some point. <laughs> okay. Well, hey. <laughs> like, well, hey. Well, none of that. Will, none dude. of that. Hey, dude, no, wor- no problem. You won't have the courage. Uh, You'll want, there'll be a point where you want to, but you won't do none it. None of that appeals to you having a house, a porch. No, nah, it makes me, it gives me like anxiety. Really? Yeah. There's an element of it that gives me anxiety, but because I think of that as quitting in a way. Like, I can't quitting. wait to quit. Like, what I mean is, like, <laughs> it's like... I think it's starting. But that's like, that's yeah. like, that's like, oh, I've done it. I've achieved something. And it's like, the idea that I can move, it kind of s- semi-retire sounds nice in the same way. Well, that yeah, like, it's not happening forever. The it's accumulation for of, like, things gives me anxiety because you have more to lose. I, I, I like, had, like, a... Uh, like a breakdown almost when I was like 21 before I moved to LA because I had my own apartment and I would like temp here and there, but I made enough money to like, yeah. you know, pay for all my shit. And I like put everything I wanted in my apartment yeah. and like fucked with me. I'm like, I gotta get, and I just, yeah. just sold everything. See, I had a, when life. I was 21, I had a house I'd bought with a scam mortgage for $700,000. <laughs> right, 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 right. I had a Chevy Suburban, it was 44 gallon tank, $4 thing to fill up, <laughs> filling it up with credit cards and stuff. And I really, I always remembered like when I was 21, I go, I'll just go bankrupt. Like, yeah, yeah, my yeah. friends would be like, how are you gonna afford all this? And I would just be high and be like, I'll just go bankrupt. I'll just do a line to come. <laughs> so it's like, to me, I'm like, there's no debtor's prison, cock. Right. Live. Right, 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 go out right. there and live. Right, right, right. right. Like, I know. Yeah, I'm going to lose it. That's my attitude. Yeah, it's like, yes, of course yes. I'm going to lose it. I respect it. that. Yeah. yeah. It's, See, and that's yeah. what I mean by quitting. It just feels like I, it's like, when I, I don't want that pressure of like, oh, I'm going to lose this thing. It's going to be at the point where it's like, I have it. It's done. No, I've I agree succeeded. with you. Listen, as I get older, I, can't, I don't think like that anymore. Of course. Yeah, but yeah. I'm like, you know, I was fucking, I was also fucking on drugs. On drugs. Like, and at the end of the day, it's like that, that's kind of like the way I think a lot of people think. That's when you start meeting like people that are successful in business. You're kind of like, oh, they, you start talking to them. Some of them, some of them are insane. Mm-hmm. They're like genuinely psychotic. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, you don't give a fuck about well, yeah, anything. Dude. You're just like, you're a machine that will move in one direction no matter what happens without thinking about anything. Well, I mean, the these, are the, way to be. these are the people that like <laughs> money. Well, that's like, why do you need $2 billion? You know what I mean? Why do you yeah. need your next billion? It's like, those are people that- When I met that CEO so dude, I won't say what network, but it was yeah. like every minute of his day is like accounted for. And every question I asked him, I got like this, like, like very direct, very short answer that was very like, he didn't, he was, he could have been economy. wrong. He didn't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't yeah, yeah. care about being right or wrong. It was just like, boom, that's why. That's Decisive. why it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell yeah. me it's not. And I'm like, right, all right. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I mean, I can't fucking, I can't relate to that shit. I don't know, though. I don't know what the what the dream, like, end, like, retirement thing is. I'd like to get, the next thing I want to get to is an apartment that's, like, all mine, whatever, where it's yeah. like set up the way I want, that it's, like, that's my home for the next, like, 10 years. Yeah. I want that next stage, but... The thing is, I keep I worry about what I what what's next because it's like fuck my whole life of like all I want to do is be a working comedian. Nah, because yeah. like even you and have it's all, like it's you, here and it's you like have I'm all those scared. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to say who it is, but you know we know a guy. He's got a like very fucking nice apartment. You know, has that career that you want and like internally tortured. Yeah, that's you know, everyone like we know. Uh, yeah. Back up. We know that's a guy. True. We I know, know all of the guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> that's yeah. most. Oh, well, I've tried to yeah. keep it as vague as possible. No, of course, but like, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's still. He's talking about himself. I am. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Okay, you know, I'll, I'll co-sign that. But that's the the, the but, thing is, is like, yeah, everybody's fucked. But I mean, I'm also trying to want to work on that. But that's what I mean. I want to get to the point where I'm happy in that thing because I feel like I'm almost happy here. I mean, if I didn't think I was gonna die, I'd be pretty happy. I just always like to scare shit, and that's poor. Like, so me, I'm like, things that I haven't been successful at, I want to, like, try to learn how to do them. Heterosexuality? Is that Heterosexuality. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, could, yeah. I, I could get a fatty. Playing the music. I could get saw. a curvy Greek bitch. Yeah, yeah, Nice yeah. looking, dark hair. Uh-huh. Go Ooh. out to fucking Taverna. Oh, now, yeah. now you oh, speak yeah. my language. This oh, yeah, great. man. I would just eat those. <laughs> Literally. I suck yeah, on yeah. tits. They're like a food. I don't yeah, care, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. I, yeah it whatever. does nothing for you. Nothing. No chill runs I would marry a, If I could fuck dudes on the side and I had to marry a woman for money or a mm-hmm. house, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I would do it. Like, if a chick, I'd be like, straight up, like, listen, 
I'm going to fuck dudes. Now, yeah. you, now there's a suburban life for you. Yeah. That's yeah, a suburban yeah, yeah, life. Yeah. I would have been happy in the you 40s or 50s. Your son's, yeah, oh, soccer yeah. coach. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, come the on. Guy, the guy There's playing nothing the better. I've been parade. in the closet and hooked up with people. I've been out of the closet. Nothing's better than being in the closet hooking up with people. I mean, I know that that's probably going to not make people happy, but I will say that's hotter. Oh, Dishonesty yeah, is hot. Thing. It is. Lying yeah. is hot. Oh, yeah. Anybody who's like, this is so hot. My parents are so supportive. I'm like, Ugh, I get soft. I'm like, I want a guy who shows up with a black eye. And he's like, my father <laughs> fucking punched me because he, he caught me jacking it to fucking whatever. And I'm Come like, right in here, boy. I got some good dick up on the here, boy. <laughs> like, What's your father's my name? My son's been fucking that Cajun pig outside of the 7-Eleven. <laughs> I, mean, like I don't it. have a problem with him being gay, but don't fuck Pierre St. Pierre. <laughs> like, son, you're Ain't fucking it. Pierre St. Pierre. He's destroying this city. <laughs> Our family has been in disgrace. Ain't we have to like leave. that good claw to the dick, boy. I taste sweet as a king cake, boy. I'll tell you that much. Put them beignets up in my mouth. <laughs> I'll put a crawfish up, but you fine. Yeah. You're, like, you're like the son's trying to sneak up the stairs. Yeah. That dad's like, come here a second. He's like, is this powdered sugar held onto your face with cum? <laughs> oh, fuck. Um... Uh, but you're saying you, dishonesty is hot. It's, Sorry, I mean it's, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. hot. It is yeah. really hot. It's hot. To, it's it's only hot to. That's the thing that kind of sucks about fucking as an adult versus a teenager. As a teenager, you're not supposed to be fucking. Mm -hmm. All the fucking you're doing is happening in places where like you would be arrested it's if you secretive. got caught yes. doing it. Uh, yes, I know from all the it? sex I had as yeah, a teenager. Well, <laughs> you know, it's Gosh. like I don't know. As an adult, it's like what are we gonna fuck in my apartment that I pay for consensually? <laughs> right. It sounds like bullshit to me. <laughs> but isn't it also possible that all three of us and a lot of the people we fuck have horrible problems with intimacy that we find things that are weird hot uh, you know what I mean I yeah. find a lot of the prostitutes that I'm with are in, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pretty together I think they are <laughs> I would disagree with you I think they're pretty they have goals They've they know what they want to do yeah, 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 I yeah. want to yeah. be a music manager <laughs> sure <laughs> whatever you say good yeah. to meet you uh, yeah. you know <laughs> I will go back to Russia to meet my dear parents yeah. I was on a website once where a kid goes <laughs> what a about kid, like a kid goes like he, I, I, he goes he goes he was like i'm in russia he's like all i experience is violence and i want to get out of russia and i'm mm -hmm. like oh okay good luck yeah, 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 yeah. Like, i don't know what you think yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. this is are you gonna beat off on camera or not yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you say i was on a website it was because this is I've yeah. seen a lot of websites. Yeah, yeah, no. Whatever you're describing it doesn't sound <laughs> no, like No, it was a seeking website. it's seeking arrangements, which oh, is like a okay. it's like a it's like a sugar da daddy baby yes, website yes. where it's like you and I, I I go on it and I'm like, hey, you want to have a nice dinner? And they're like, Yeah, what about a monthly allowance? I'm like, hey, how about a fucking shellfish tower? Right. And you enjoy and you it. Suck you suck know? me off. You know, and so I could stop taking Ray Kump out and I could <laughs> take out some fucking NYU student who just wants a ribeye. Right, right. And one kid messaged me, he's like, and, and, and one kid messaged me, he's like, I want to leave russia i'm like well this whoa, is whoa, yeah this is a very yeah this is different this seems yeah. odd i'm trying to i'm trying to trade fucking blowjobs for porterhouses yeah but essentially that website is a form of prostitution yeah it's just 100%. enough of a middleman yeah I had, I had a girl that does it on my podcast where she was talking about like you know oh I, i'm on an allowance all these guys they do this that and the other thing for me and then you're like you're like oh no this is just you're just fucking you're a whore yeah, yeah. This which is, is not, nice yeah sweet woman love her yeah great lady um, should we? Should I go on seeking arrangement? I tried to post one of myself when I was. Broke. You know what it is. Here's the thing with that website. I don't really use it a lot, but it's like it's just fun. Like here's the thing. You on seeking arrangement, you become a. You're a nine. Yeah, I'm a nine, nine because like all these oh, seventy-five yes. year olds. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you're like a nine on seeking arrangement. My yes. friend, my friend, just a good-looking dude. He goes on. It doesn't give anyone anything and just fucks. Whoa, interesting. Yeah, he just fucks. You know. Oh, I like this idea. Yeah, I'm gonna get on. I just want a harem of babies. boys that I can be I like. I want a harem of girls. Yeah. I, I mean, I refuse to believe there's any website where Stav is a nine. Come no, on, well, it is. He's a set. Listen, <laughs> you know, it's it's a fucking you know. First of all, I'm cute as hell. Okay, it, one day 
make a toothless dating website, yeah, first I'm going to be annoying. The only difference between you and Pierre St. Pierre is the <laughs> accent. <laughs> yes, yeah, Pierre's a very accent. charming guy. He's a, pillar, he's a pillar of his community. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love the idea of like it's local town. P-I-L-L-E-R. <laughs> local, <laughs> local town <laughs> local town meetings discussing like they have like uh, a blackboard with issues and they're like post-Katrina cleanup, <laughs> education, <laughs> Pierre St. Pierre. <laughs> like he's the third thing that has to be addressed. What that third yeah. thing? Say, I, I, I can't read, yeah, but yeah. I got bad feelings about it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah. got me about Pierre St. Pierre. Now you know the rules. Keep my name out of your mouth unless you want to put my dick inside but it. Is there any way we can all like crowdfund a Coleman tent to place over him? <laughs> so we just Ain't don't no tent going to stop Pierre. He'll just shout out the tent. We've tried. <laughs> Nothing will stop him. We've, we had two weeks where we were constantly feeding him cotton candy to keep yeah. his mouth shut. It we tried made to him, poison him it only made him stronger. Times. Nothing's yeah. worked. Yeah. We made a poisonous cotton candy. Candy to yeah, Pierre St. Pierre. Last time we saw him, he was eating blood out of a turtle <laughs> shell. Uh, <laughs> that was his. All the mice in the area are yeah. dead after yeah. feeding on his droppings. Yeah. Yeah. That classic Cajun meal, yeah. bloody turtle. <laughs> they have some like, like not sauce, like, not like a nice yeah, yeah. hot sauce and mm-hmm. like. A, Turtles, you just eat, you eat it and your stomach's burning. You're like, oh, what? Yeah. Some of the food down there is so hot. Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. what is the point of this? Mm-hmm. Like, where does this? Mm-hmm. We death for quit, my boy. Oh, this turd isn't spicy enough. <laughs> turd dough. That, that ain't okay. That turd. is so funny. You're like, turd dough. Turd dough. It's turd dough. Ain't no black guy. Ain't no turd dough. <laughs> <laughs> Only black guy have a third or two with Magic Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I was in New Orleans a couple of years ago with uh, Ariel Elias and uh, I think Scotland Green. We went to some restaurant that had just opened up. It was there, yeah. literally they'd opened up like an hour prior. Right. So Wait, we was like I there? there? Maybe. Was that hell? And we lied to get uh, Ariel's dog into the restaurant. We said yeah. she had like a disability or something, so we could bring the dog. I in. think I was there. We went to brunch. We went to brunch, and that waiter who had like just gotten out of prison, who like told yes. us. Yes, I was there. I was there. Yeah. 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 It yeah. was a New Orleans the brunch. It was yeah. like a cheesy, over the top jazz themed place. Yes, it was. Yeah. It was, it was like, called like jazz. Right, right, right. Yeah, it was yeah. horrible. It was it like was the worst food yeah, ever. Yeah. But I just remember that waiter that was like. You know, one of those guys who's so happy to not be in jail anymore, but you're just worried about not pissing them off. Right, 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 you know, right, right. He's so fucking high. Oh, strong. very on edge. Yeah, yeah. That's like, that's a funny the idea. Of that is crazy because that's the worst job. So to get out of jail, service industry, and become, and then you're like from fucking jail, yeah, 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 dealing yeah. with people that are just yeah. complaining about fucking everything. Yeah, yeah you that's, survive. A, that's how you Rape. quickly get sent back to prison. Right. I mean, that's interacting like, with the public. Yeah. Is there anyone worse and more drunk with power than a restaurant manager? Yeah. The number one job like for like a cheesecake factory. Yes. You get yeah. out of prison, you should immediately get a job at the firewood place where yeah. they have just split. Why? Yes. Hell yeah. yeah. No, there's nothing the worse than like a manager at like an Applebee's mm-hmm. on a busy Saturday night where they're like oh, yeah. they're acting like it's a rocket launch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody's got those buzzing beeping <laughs> right, things and they're walking right, around right. like, I need you now. Right, I need right, you here. Right, 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 You're right. in this section. Yeah. And it's like you want to just stop them and be like, Your life is horrible. Horrible. Yeah, yeah. This is so bad. Yeah. He just has a fucking double whiskey. Yeah. He eats afterwards. He's like, did it again. After the day, he's sitting at the bar like a nom fat. You right. Know? Exactly. He's exactly. like, man, Friday night half price apps. We did it again. Yeah. <laughs> we did it again. That's the big loser thing that they say <laughs> after they've done something. They're like, did it again, yeah. boys. Yeah. See you next week. I worked at a I worked at a GameStop. It was a seasonal employee to GameStop. And I was outside in the back having a cigarette with uh, the manager and the assistant manager, and then like maybe two other guys that worked there were all just smoking. And the manager was like, uh, I just want to let you guys know, we did uh, 1.1 million in sales over the last two months. And the fucking assistant manager is exhaling a cigarette and like shaking his fists in the air, like, we fucking did it. Oh, it's yeah. like, you don't see any of that money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. who cares? First of all, we're not salesmen. Either. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it has no, yeah. no bear. Nobody's yeah. like, yeah, you know what? I think I will get the new Grand Theft Auto because I like the way that autistic guy wiped the cheese off his shirt long <laughs> enough for me to hand him $60. Yeah. 
I feel comfortable doing business here in this game style. Right, right, right. With Edward. They make me feel right. at home. I'm really with, going, with, with the 37-year-old man wearing a Legend of dude, Zelda I watched fitted it. cap. Dude, I watched a <laughs> cell phone. I had a cell phone salesman at Sprint in a Long Island strip mall Sprint store. Yeah. Beautiful. The, the, the store was just closing. I come in, and I'm like, dude, I need a phone. Yeah. I'm just like, I need a new phone. This is like bells start going off. This is like, he gets like $70 if he d- d- takes this whole transaction yeah, right. from beginning to end. He gets to a point where he has to call up Sprint to like get some uh, like agreement waived or some bullshit, you know? It's not going through. Like they keep hanging up on him and he's like, he's got his head in his hands and oh. he's, I could feel it. He's so angry and he's like, he's like, I'm really sorry, man. I'm sitting there like an hour now. I gotta make a train though. I'm like, I gotta get on a train. And like, he's just like, uh, so he's the last time, and then the person just he like picks up. You can see him pick up real angry, and he's like, "All right," and and, and, and the person like, "We're gonna put you on hold." He's like, "No!" And then they do it again, and he gets disconnected. And he's just like head in his hands. He just looks at me. He's like, he's like, uh, and he just starts writing on this piece of like paper. I'm like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "This is my name." He goes, "If you ever come back here." We'll try to make this happen. I'm very sorry. And he just hands me his name oh. written on a piece of paper. Jesus Like, if I Christ. come back to that, like... Oh, I'm and shivering. It was just like, and it was just such a sad shit. Because, listen, I was a broke-down salesperson. But at least, like, in real estate, you think, like, if I sell something, I'm going to turn it around. This guy's literally... Because sales is all equally hard. Like, yeah, yeah, I could yeah. walk out of that cell phone store just like you could walk out of a $600,000 house. The thing is, if you buy that house, I make thirty grand. If I buy that, that guy gets pizza for Two days. Right, 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 right. I used to be a cell phone guy. Oh, my God. It's a terrible fucking job. It's a rough one, man. Yeah. And you like helping people. Like, I like buying a phone, and I buy the fucking shitty expensive charger, because I'm like, fuck it. Why not? Right, right, right. But then if you can't even sell it to me, it's like, oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. It's brutal. It's rough. What a fucking horrible existence that guy lives. It's Mm. tough. God, even, like, my roommates had to go to work But what's worse is to be a retail manager. Yeah. yeah, because the retail managers delude themselves into thinking they're those guys while they make twenty three thousand dollars a year. <laughs> right, right. You know, and it's like Ugh. that's a much where there's no bonuses. Nah, you make more yeah. than that, right? No. To no. be like the fucking manager to like a, a shoe store or some shit. Yeah, probably like twenty five grand a year. Really? Yeah, nothing. You don't even make thirty five k a year. Nope. Well, you make 35K selling oxys in the parking lot. <laughs> right, yeah, right, 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 right. You ain't living off shit. <laughs> yeah, hey, man, if you're managing like a Suncoast video, you're probably yeah. getting like 20 Dude, a year. My mother, I was, when I was an actor's little kid, one of the, God, clearly a pedophile director of these shows I was in, this guy named Scott, who came up to me once. He's Scott like, Scott St. Scott. He came up to me once. I was like 10. He's like, if you ever want to talk about girls, he's like, there's some good cook up in the house. <laughs> he was the manager of a Suncoast video. So every, I always thought like, the manager of every Suncoast was just a pedophile. <laughs> no, like every time I was in the mall, I would walk by Suncoast and be like, and that's where the pedophiles yeah, work. Yeah. So well, anyway, it's, very, it's a very pedophilic store. Yes. It's like, uh, yeah, we're good. going to go black leather and neon. A lot of posters. Yeah. And yeah. then there's like a poster it's of a like. a child rape den look. Yeah. Yes, yes, It's yes. a poster of like fucking some 10-year-old kid from some pirate movie with yeah, his yeah, shirt yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then just a fat, greasy manager who's like, <laughs> do you want any help? <laughs> Ugh. Let's talk about That's right. Imagine your working favorite in a mall. Movies. Like your people, just the idea of like working in a store in a mall Brutal. is a rough thing. Yeah. yeah. That's a rough one. I mean, it's rough, dude. That's every day. It's funny if it's like something you do for six months or something. Like, yeah. I kind of want to get a stupid job as a bit. But then I'm like, damn, that's someone's life. No, dude. you can't do that. Dude, I wanted to go to the Florida Project Hotel mm-hmm. and just do like a Instagram video. My friend's like, what? My friend calls me and goes, because I was like down there in Orlando. He's like, people live like that's a real thing. People, live, <laughs> And I'm like, oh, you're right. Then I realized I'm like, what a piece of shit yeah. like I would be. Yeah, to yeah, go yeah. to that and be like, hey, look at me. Oh, I'm, I'm ironically like, doing I'm, this I'm like here. funny voyeurism. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, you're, you were so right. I don't even know why I thought that would have been okay. Yeah. Because we our lives are so taken away from reality. We're like, just also always trying to be acceptable. fucking goofball. Right, we're right, trying to right. be funny all the time. You realize that, like, oh, this is inhumane. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, m- my bad. I mean, I'm doing a, an Instagram live video where I urinate on a homeless person. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I go, drink the soda. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> drink the soda, hey, man, asshole. what they don't here? Who, what yeah, the yeah. problem there? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a comedian. Somebody pithing on me. It's not that I don't have any empathy and I'll do anything yeah, for a joke. They it's have that I'm an artist. Town me 
meeting, they're like, are you, he's a YouTube star now? You're fucking kidding me. Are you serious? He has a Patreon. Well, Pierre St. Pierre cool. has a Patreon. That's a good soda. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre like that soda. Support Pierre. <laughs> Pierre St. Pierre. The Five dollars a month. Pussy eating and uh, Five dollars a month, I'll send you a bottle of my pussy. <laughs> my pussy. Patreon <laughs> say the pussy eating. <laughs> Pierre St. Pierre. I'll get all the pussy dripping out of my tongue and I'll bottle it. Yeah. This is a show. The only angel with red wings. Yeah. Can we write Pierre St. Pierre? That would be a great animated series. Yeah. Pierre St. Pierre, the pussy eating saint. Of, yeah. Uh, Just a, a, a group yeah. of. Uh, a like Cunnilingus a, Parish. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know what to do with them. They keep trying yeah, yeah. to throw them out. Right. We needed somebody to suck the swamp water out of every woman's cunt. <laughs> <laughs> this man, this man, the only man brave enough to suck that that BP tainted swamp water out of every coont in New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans. <laughs> Ain't no problem with a little crude oil up in a pussy. <laughs> That's actually my favorite type mm-hmm. of lube. Uh, my favorite thing to do is is scrub the clit off with a little toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it's a baby seal. <laughs> You got to suck all that swamp water out there and then brush down that clit like a hurt seagull. <laughs> oh, I love the pussy. I love to clean up and help the pussy. Yeah, so they uh, the, they caught the Austin bomber. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Well, didn't he, he kill himself? He blew himself up. Young which, white dude. Way to be consistent. Yeah, I've read a coverage of it, and it was like, they haven't released any more information other than his age and that he was white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he had like a dumb yeah. haircut. Well, too. Well, it's like, of course, we knew he was white. Yeah, yeah. Right. He's a neo-Nazi white supremacist guy, right? I mean, he was you're blowing doing, up black people. You're blowing up prominent black families. You're, you know, and that is terrorism. He's trying to affect, like, can't call yeah, a straight school shooter terrorism. terrorist because they're not trying to affect political change. But like, not a guy like this. Terrorist. Yeah. yeah. Call him a terrorist. And New York Times, like, don't write a fucking article about, like, well, the plant closed down and many young men were disaffected. It's like, don't do that shit. Did the New York Times, did they do that? They've done that with a few white supremacists. I don't think do with this guy. They, they keep no, doing it, though. They've done Every, it with, they keep, like, they all keep the, like, doing this where it's like... pieces about white supremacists. Yeah, they keep doing it where it's kind of annoying. And I'm not even one of these dudes who's like... I'm not always like beyond war footing, but it's like stop writing about like, well, the GM plant went under and what was this guy going to do except get into Nazism? (laughs) It was the logical course, you know, (laughs) you know, jobs fleed from to the city and, you know, there was anxiety. So, you know, Mein Kampf would be the next logical (laughs) step. Absolutely. He was balding anyway, he decided. Yeah. Got to go bald completely. Right. Right. What matches with this? Yeah. Nazi. There was a sale on Doc Martens that same day. Right. Too many fucking factors came together. But it's also well, there, was another, uh, there was another fire bombing, though. Yeah, wait a minute. After this guy died? I think so. I think Jeez, the copycat bomber? Yeah, so someone else is doing it, too. Damn, that sucks, dude. Yeah. What if he was a fucking plant, dude? Stay woke on that shit. Oh, I don't know. You know, they blew him up. He's a yeah. martyr. You know? I wish I knew how to make bombs. Alex Jones would be on tonight being like, this is clearly a pattern. This guy is has nothing to do with this. Right, this is an actor. It's the globalists. Yeah. This is an actor. This God deep state's version. God forbid an actual actor ever commits a... a oh, God, forget it. Like Alex Jones and Matt LeBlanc loses yeah. it and fucking shoots up a school. Yeah. You can see him in the background of this scene in France. Not only is he an actor, but as an actor, he played an actor. Yeah. Do you see what this is? <laughs> Yo, well, you know Matt LeBlanc's got his own fucking sitcom again? Does he? He's on CBS, just gray-haired What's it with called? some ugly lady. According to That's got to be. You got to be going into work every day just going, well, you know, this is found I'll money. take the check, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's found. When you go to L.A. and you have meetings on those, like, the big studios, you see all these people doing these shitty shows and nobody watches, they're all walking around in the death knell. Like, they yeah. all know no one's watching. I mean, they're shout just like, out to LeBlanc for getting another check. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's funny get how the money. Enter- entertainment industry can be sort of a trap because they pay you so much money money to not realize that you're wasting your life right because it's yeah. so close right. to be to to doing the thing you want to do right which is to have some sort of like creative recognition from your peers you know or to like make something that's actually yeah, good that you think is good but you can make something that it, it exists in the same building as something that's <laughs> right, good. Right, right, right. right you get paid eleven thousand dollars a week to produce right yeah right. and it's like you know 
uh, who's going to the bathroom? A reality show. Yeah, we yeah, put right. cameras in people's bathrooms after they get an appointment with Geek Squad. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, yeah, no, it's like it's like sort of a crosser between drama and reality. It's potentially well, It's illegal. always funny when like the people you meet with a production company, they tell you the other things they produce and they're embarrassed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're like, um, I was at a meeting and guy goes like this. He's like this. He's looking down. He goes, uh, he goes, uh, we do, uh, you know, we do a lot of things. You know, Cedric's barbershop battle, a lot of things. Uh, we do a lot of things. Uh, I'm like, wait, hold on, what? He's like, uh, Cedric's, uh, bar- you know, you got barbers. Cedric, it's funny, it's a battle. What? So like, are the like- barbers battling? Listen, who, baby, who does the best? Haircut? I don't know anything about it. Yeah, I imagine yeah. that. that uh, is- yeah, no, we do a show called Steve Harvey's Giant Suit Off. <laughs> where two middle aged black guys come in yeah. and they see who has the dumber suit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're real proud of uh, what we've been up to. We're real proud of our current line of shows. Yeah. All right, well, that's going to do it for today. Uh, uh, I feel thank- like we're just getting rolling, dude. Yeah, well, thank you, Tim, for coming on. Thank you as for always. having me, as always. You're, you're um, good people. Hold right. on, hold on, hold on. Let's plug. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I got to plug up uh, uh, tomorrow, Boston. Uh, second show added, right? Second show added, and I forgot to promote it really too hard. So I think we only sold like 60 tickets or so. That's not bad for the second show, though. What's uh, what's the total capacity there? I don't know, because they told me it was 100, yeah. and then we sold 180. So All right, so we got to sell 180 tickets. So <laughs> if you guys want to come to that second show, that would be great. Thanks. Uh, and then also we have Funny Moms on the uh, 26th. That's this Monday coming up. Uh, Tim will be on a future one. He's not on that one. He's on, I think the who knows the sixteenth. Anyway, let me know. Y- you well, already let me know what to but Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. No, every time it's something comes yeah, up, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna do it. I'm very excited to do it. Um, uh, and I, th- I believe that's it. So please come to Funny Moms on the twenty sixth, guys, and go see Nick in Boston. That was a fucking great, uh, great fucking show. You guys are gonna have a ton of fun. So, and again, yeah, sorry I couldn't make the Philly guys. I was yeah. really fucked up. Uh, but I'm going to reschedule soon and I want to come out there. You just go to timdillandcomedy.com. Please come out to live dates. Yeah, Thank go you. see Tim. He's so fucking funny. It. Thanks. Thanks, Bye. guys. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks, guys.